uh, to uh, or you're tuned to True Talk uh, with uh, Ahmed and uh, Samar, and we are talking about the situation in Gaza. Now we're going to soon be talking to uh, Omer uh, Goldman, uh, a young Israeli uh, uh, lady who uh, lives in Tel Aviv. We're talking to her live now uh, from Tel Aviv, and she refuses uh, to be part of the killing machine of the Israeli ma army vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Palestinians. Uh, good morning, uh, Omer. Hey, good morning. Or actually, good evening in Israel now. Uh, yeah. Omer, I was just telling uh, our uh, listeners that uh, you are uh, an Israeli citizen. You are about 19 years old, and uh, you were imprisoned, actually. You had to go to jail. Can you tell our listeners why? Um, in Israel, after you finish high school, you have to join the army immediately. Um I uh, did a volunteer, year, a volunteer year before, and when it was my time to join the army in September, I refused to join the Israeli army um, because I'm against uh, the, the fact that the army is occupying uh, the Palestinian territories and the Palestinian people, and uh, I won't take a part in a system that does war crimes and crimes against humanity. It's called the senior letter, which in, in Hebrew, Shministim, which means the, the, the last grader that needs to join the army, and we send a letter to the government and declare we won't join the army because of, uh, of the policy of occupying the, the Palestinian territories and um, we're nine in jail this year. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we're like some are now in jail, and one is going to jail next week. I got out of jail now, and uh, I don't think that the fact that my father is a, has a high position, you know, um, makes it uh, harder for me because because it's just so basic not to join the system it's so it's basic logic and basic values that anyone should and have to do it because no matter you know what his parents are because it's just wrong it's like you won't murder and you won't defend thieves you you won't do it for your country if you're just joining us, this is uh, True Talk on WMNF with Ahmed and Summer. We're speaking to Omar Goldman live from Tel Aviv. She's an Israeli citizen who uh, has been sentenced to jail twice for refusing to serve in the Israeli military, the IDF, because uh, IDF commits war crimes against uh, the occupied territories, Palestinians in the occupied territories. She's also the daughter of a former deputy head of Mossad, which is like the CIA. Uh, Omar, what do you think of the current uh, campaign in Gaza? Why do you think the Israeli army is in Gaza uh, bombing uh, people there? I think, first of all, this war is the wrongest thing that Israel and the so-called IDF, we don't call it IDF because it's not defending, it's attacking. And so the Israeli army is now bombing um, innocent people with terrorists uh, of Hamas group. And the, the, the reason that they do it now is because there's elections in two months and our so-called leaders want to guarantee themselves more votes and, you know, that the people will think they're actually doing something. So they're just killing innocent people uh, so, you know, so the people can trust them again. Because there is, no one trusts the Israeli leaders anymore. But don't they, uh, like, didn't they learn something from the experience in Lebanon? Because that was supposedly to last for a week, then lasted for more than a month, where uh, really the Israeli society started to ask questions about the power of uh, the Israeli army vis-a-vis -vis, uh, a bunch that's, of guerrilla people. That's exactly what we're saying. That's exactly, like, is it such a short-term memory of the Israeli people that they don't realize it's exactly like Lebanon's Second War. And, I, you know, I decided not to join the army after Lebanon's Second War. And, uh, and I think um, 
it's such a mistake. And, you know, the people that get hurt in Gaza now uh, are not Hamas. Hamas has their, have their you know, underground, uh, safe rooms. The innocent people, the citizens of Gaza are now getting hurt. And the Israeli government knows it. Um, I think uh, because they know how the, the Israeli people act, you know, through history, they probably thought, okay, they won't protest. They won't remember what we did in the Lebanon Second War, like it was in Lebanon First War and, and everything. And today they arrested, like, about 300 activists, Arabs and Israelis, uh, that protested against this war. And uh, they're just trying to shut us up. They're not, now there, there's uh, an offer that uh, you can't hold the Palestine flag at demos. You can be arrested for that. And it's really becoming a non-democratic, fascist country. Uh, Omar, in the studio with us right here in Tampa is an American citizen who's originally from Gaza, who uh, this past week lost uh, five or six of his nieces in one of the bombing raids when they bombed that mosque. What do you have to say to him? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. Like, always people tell me, why don't you take your side? Like, you know, my side is the Israeli side, but my side is innocent people. My side are people that don't use violence and get hurt because of the system of occupation. And I'm sorry, and I'm with him, and and I'm, I'm hurt from that system. Also, I sat in jail. It's hard for me to get into college and to, of course, I don't compare, but I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Mr. Abdurraouf, uh, what would you say to, some, uh, to Omar? Well, thank you, Omar, so much for your comment. And, uh, I really uh, believe that uh, from the history, the American and the Japanese, after two wars that they live together, they are very friendly right now, and they are superpower in the world, and I wish that the government would listen to uh, both of us. Uh, I have uh, Jewish neighbors, and we've been dealing with each other like brothers. I don't think that the uh, uh, politicians in your country or in some of the other countries they understand, or, in your country. <laughs> uh, or my country. Which but is America, the problem yes. is, is uh, the Israeli government. They always claim that there is no other party to deal with them in peace. And I believe, yeah, if it's you look, a lie. At it's a lie. it is a lie. And I believe that the Israeli government right now they are in uh, uh, big confusion. They don't know what is the sequences of this war. I think there is. Uh, do you think the outcome of this war will be in the benefit of? Israel? Of course not. How can death of innocent people will be good for for some for someone? It's like in in a month, if we stay there and if we're gonna you know conquer it again, there will be no one to talk to. Everyone is gonna be or dead or so angry. You know, it's 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 irrational. It's just so stupid. And I. Do you believe, so Omar, uh, that the Israeli government will accomplish anything out of this war? No. How can? Uh, sorry, I know I sound like a, I'm naive, but how can someone accomplish something from war? It's it's wrong. It's he, just wrong. Uh, I don't believe me. We don't think you're naive. That's very wise. Uh, fortunately, some of the politicians don't hear that. Last question for you before we go to our next segment. So one of our listeners has emailed us a question from Lando Lakes, which is a city in our area. He's asking, what about the rockets that were fired first by Hamas? Was, wasn't that the whole uh, thing that started it all? Uh, first of all, uh, through history, <laughs> Israel conquered Gaza first. Okay, that's history, and even you know uh, the agreement of uh, of the truth. I don't know the truth. Yes, so Israel broke it first on the fourth of November, and I'm I'm against. Ham I don't think Hamas are okay. I just think they are. Ter they anyone who used violence is wrong, but our country is claiming to be democratic, and you know our the IDF is supposed to be human, but it's exact. Exactly like Hamas, it's a terror organization who bombs innocent people, but no one calls it that way. It's like a saint golden myth 
No one is breaking. And it's not true anymore. We are not, uh, uh, you know, a humanly army. We are hurting innocent people. We are acting like a terror organization. That was... Uh, they are. Th- thank you, Omar, for those comments. Um, uh, and we will...